Welcome back. You're watching Financial Planners, and uh, let's talk about one term that we picked up. Uh, we like many, many terms, and we like to learn our jargon. But today's the jargon is a fund management charges. What does that mean? Sumit Vaid is a certified financial planner. He'll go through this term for us. Hey, Sumit. Um, so fund management charges, we talk about it. In fact, a lot of experts come on TV channels and they'll talk about mutual funds and then they'll say fund management charges. But um, what does it mean? Where does it show up? How much is it? Uh, okay, mutual funds uh, as, a, as a, a value add, uh, when they go and create a portfolio based on an objective which has been approved by the regulator, which is SEBI in India, mm -hmm. uh, they have an element of charge built into the net asset value. Mm -hmm. Because whatever portfolio is being created, let's say, you know, there is an A fund which is supposed to go and buy uh, a, equities of the of the Sensex. Okay? So let's say, uh, so you have the Sumit fund, True. which has to go and buy equities, which True. is stocks True. On, on the index. Yeah? Yes. So, so that's the fund. And when mm -hmm. I buy that, in order to render my service, I have certain charges, mm -hmm. uh, which comprises of uh, overall charge, which is known as fund running ex expenses, you know, FRE. Mm -hmm. Fund running expenses include administration. That means mm -hmm. all the paperwork which is required, buying, selling of stocks and other things. Mm -hmm. And it includes fund management charges, which is the charge which I, as a fund manager, will charge for rendering my service as a fund management. And that's the profit pool uh, of, of a mutual fund. You know, so you're that's saying, the earning. Right. So you're saying there's a, there's a charge to run the fund because obviously you have your own overheads that you true. have to think of. You have to true. pay rent. You have to pay your employees. Yeah, team, that's true. Yeah. So there is that is known as FRE, which is fund running expenses. Uh -huh. And there's an overall limit of uh, fund running expenses, which has been put by uh, SEBI. And within fund running expenses, there is fund management charges, which are purely towards uh, investment management of that particular objective. Uh, yeah. uh, or in other words, that's the pure earning, which which usually the asset management companies get, get uh, for, for managing that particular fund. Uh, mm -hmm. And and and. And the way a uh, regulator, Indian regulator is in terms of proactive uh, uh, regulations uh, and being investor centric has come up with a, uh, with a very dynamic charge, uh, charges which are allowed uh, by the mutual funds to be charged, which ranges from uh, on the highest side of 2.25 and goes to as low as 1.75 and slightly lower also in certain asset classes mm -hmm. based on the size of the fund. Okay? Mm -hmm. So as the fund size goes up, the charges go down. Is, is there uh, the norm which is there. So as a mutual fund investor or a mutual fund customer, what you need to know or what you need to understand is every mutual fund has certain charges which fund manager levies on rendering his service, which includes the administrative expenses also. That is part and parcel of net asset value which has been built. Mm -hmm. Net asset value which has been shown to you is net of those charges. Okay, so your net asset value basically uh, comprises of all of these expenses. So you are, you know, when you actually get your fund, then you're in effect also paying for all of these True. charges. True. So uh, should that be top of your mind when you're getting into a mutual fund? Should you be, okay, this, this fund doesn't have that many expenses? Or is that how you choose one fund over another or is, should it be of no concern to you? No, it should be of concern. Mm -hmm. It should be of a very prime concern to you. You should know that concept of fund management charges exist. You should try and uh, question your advisors who are recommending you a certain fund in terms of trying to know what are the fund management charges of that particular uh, you know, uh, mutual fund or underlying uh, scheme has. Mm -hmm. Because by doing that, what you should compare is that you should try and go towards the lower fund management charging schemes. Uh, mm -hmm. If you try and see evaluation of various mutual funds on rating agencies like Morningstar or Value Search, etc., you'll be able to see the fund management charges there. Or, and in the fund running expenses, both you can very easily see that. And and ideally, an investor should try and go towards lower fund running expenses funds because that tells you that whatever return they generate, they will they will be able to give you more back. Uh, oh. And and usually it's linked to the size. The bigger the fund, fund running expenses keep going down because you know scale really helps them. Economies of scales kick in. Right. You should be aware about it. Yeah, that's a great point though. I mean, uh, so if you are someone who's actually doing your uh, thorough research about your mutual fund, so the lower the expenses the better, better the fund, so it's a better Definitely. for you. True. And yeah. that's where, you know, the, the new genre of funds, which are index funds and exchange traded funds, are really doing well across the world because they are almost having zero or low charges. Ah, okay. See, that's another interesting tip that we learned from our financial planner today. Remember, we air Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30. Today's show, we had Sumit Ved on. He's a certified financial planner. He's also a great friend of the show. He's a regular guest over here. You can catch him the next time. From the entire team here, thank you for watching. Goodbye.